It is said that the problem is not whether machine think, but whether men think. A more important question would be what happens when both machines and men think. We talked to Professor Morala, who is an expert in computational intelligence, also known as artificial intelligence. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, Leon. Thank you so much. Um, Professor Mawar, can you briefly uh, take us through your academic uh, background? Uh, well, I come from Uganda. Uh, mm. uh, I was brought up in Uganda. I was born and brought up in Uganda. I went to school in Uganda. Mm. I matriculated in a high school called Biri High School. Oh, uh, back in the yeah, I know it. <laughs> and uh, I then proceeded to do a an undergraduate degree in Mukintam Engineering at the mm. university called Case Western Reserve University mm. that is in the United States. Mm. So then I came back uh, to South Africa and I briefly worked for the CSIR uh, mm. for six months. Uh, then I proceeded to uh, the University of Pretoria to complete a master's in mechanical engineering. Um, thereafter, I went to the University of Cambridge to do a PhD in computational intelligence. And after that, I went to the Imperial College uh, of London, which is part of the University of London, at least by that time, to do a postdoctorate uh, studies in, 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 in multi-agent systems. Uh, this is an area of, uh, of, 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 of computer science that has become popular in recent times. Okay. Well, uh, in your in your studies as an engineer, uh, how 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 was the studies? I mean, did you find it difficult to study engineering? No, 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 no. I mean, I, th I thought uh, when I was studying it, I, 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 you know, it was okay. You know, I graduated, uh, you know, um, you know at either at the top of the class or very close to the top of the class, uh, uh, graduated with distinctions and so on and so forth. So for me it was quite natural. It was a good career choice that fitted my abilities and that also fitted my dreams and goals and so on and so forth. Um, I did not find it difficult. Why not? I found it very okay. exciting. Okay, the mathematics you took when you, you were still in high school, um, how was the difference between the, the mathematics that you do now apply at work now? The, the one that you used to do at Mbiri High School and the one that now you do in your PhD? Uh, oh, well, uh, obviously the complexity is different. Yes. Um, uh, I mean, of course, when I was... M my class was the first high school class mm. to be taught calculus. Okay. Before then, people were not taught uh, calculus. I was the first group of people to really be taught calculus, uh, certainly from the Department of Education and Training. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, the mathematics is similar, but it's different in scope. If you do uh, artificial intelligence, the mathematics will require you to do some form of uh, some form of um, calculus. Uh, uh, advanced form of calculus, so the being able to differentiate, being able to integrate all those uh, important and vital uh, mathematical concepts become very, very important. Optimization is one of the things okay. that I actually was introduced in high school. Mm. Linear optimization in high school, mm. obviously later on, now we do non-linear optimization, very, very important in computational intelligence. So as an engineer in computational intelligence, um, how are uh, uh, um, UK, uh, an engineer in computational intelligence of uh, engineering systems, can, uh, do you also uh, uh, see um, engineering as applied matrix? Well, I mean, naturally, uh, engineering is applied science. Okay. So What's the difference between the applied science and the applied mathematics? I mean, before you can... Well, um, I would think the applied mathematicians will obviously have some interest mm. in the in the mathematics, uh, whereas uh, the engineers will place more interest on the application. You know, the, the the application in terms of deploying it in real life situation. For example, applied mathematicians will probably go and analyze how a spacecraft will actually be able to live. The earth, what what is the escape velocities that you need to have in order for 
for that spacecraft to be able to leave the Earth. But they will not be able to go and design it. Mm. You know? So the applied part for them is only at the level of using mathematics mm. that can be applied to a problem. Okay. But as engineers actually go and apply it physically, they build things and they, you know, which applied mathematicians would not necessarily be able to do. But as you can hear from a conversation, there's always an overlap. Mm. Almost to the extent that if you go to many engineering faculties across the world, you will find a lot of people who are actually applied mathematicians, but they are professors of engineering. But Prof, what inspires you, what inspired you, I mean, to, 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 to pursue the career in uh, computational? I think um, what, 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 what normally, what drives me, mm. Uh, what what, yeah, what, what drives me is uh, is the need to change society for the better. Okay. Uh, the need to know more than an average person. Mm. Uh, the need to use that knowledge to the, for the benefit of society. So those are the things that actually inspire me, uh, inspire me. Okay. From your record, you are uh, you are very good at your job, and uh, uh, I could say you are perfect at your job at what you do at your job. Why did you choose to I mean, why did you choose to work in, uh, at a university where you are doing research mm -hmm. rather than go to uh, I mean, instead of working at uh, big companies where you can I mean, I mean so I, mm. wouldn't understand I mean, why uh, mm -hmm. academics or else you can go and work for a big company. Mm. Look, I mean, I'm not too sure about the perfection part. I wish if I was the perfect one, but uh, I'm not. And uh, and some of uh, some of, um, of of the achievements that I have made uh, 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 were not necessarily of my own doing. For mm. example, uh, I have worked with very very clever people, uh, whether they were research collaborators, whether they were postgraduate students, whether they were research assistants, and I continue to work with uh, with such high caliber of people. Mm. And a lot of work, a body of work that I have produced in the last 10 years is really a collaborative effort. It's not mm. something that I can go and see, this is my own work, completely my own work, and nobody else had an impact on this particular work. Mm. Almost to the point that, um, you know, if you look at my papers uh, that I have written, mm. uh, I will just be one of the authors. Mm. I won't be the sole author. Yeah, for some, you know, I do, I do get inspired sometimes when I'm going writing a single author paper mm. about an idea that I thought on my own. But uh, uh, a lot of this credit should also go to my collaborators. We have gone to do very, very well at the CSIR, at Harvard University, and all, yes. the, all, all, all other institutions. So uh, you, are you, you're just not an industry person? No, 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 I'm um, actually, uh, engineering is an applied mm. discipline, which means if you do it without looking at industry, very soon you are actually going to lose uh, sight of uh, the significance of your work. Yes, I have spent quite a great deal of time uh, in industry applying my work. Yes, I do spend uh, uh, quite a bit of time at City Power. I'm a director of City Power. Okay. Uh, you know, yes, I do spend time at uh, EOH. I'm a director of EOH. Uh, so for me, uh, uh, I think I have the best of both worlds. I'm, I'm in academia, but I'm still very, very, very heavily involved in what is happening. Okay, apart from being uh, apart from being a leader, I mean, of, uh, uh, of, of this. Uh, uh, Industries, you also uh, uh, as typical day, uh, you you um, you work as an engineer, as an academic engineer. How is it? I mean, how is it to work as an academic engineer, not being a, a, an industrial engineer? What's the difference? How do you well, the difference is obviously the problems uh, uh, in, uh, uh, in, 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 in academia. When we work as engineers, we want something that is what we call academic value, and that academic value is is normally manifested uh, uh, mm. in, in, in the originality that is, ex that is expected, uh, the depth uh, through which you solve problems and so on and so forth. Whereas if you go to industry, yes, the solution is much more important than how to get to the solution. And, uh, and uh, even, that, even though that is exciting, I also would like to 
trace the evolution of a problem mm -hmm. from its identification to its solution. Okay, you've taken many leadership roles, but um, you know, people perceive things differently in life. Like, uh, for instance, they think that people who are good in uh, who have high mathematical skills don't take leadership roles. What, what's your take on that? No, I mean, I, I, th I think it's completely incorrect. Uh, mm. uh, you know, the president of, uh, of, of, of China is an engineer. The previous president of China was an engineer. The president before, before that one was an engineer. So I <laughs> think yeah. I mean, so, 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 so maybe South Africa has not reached a point where you are going to see a lot of engineers in leadership positions. But, uh, but why not? Well, why, why, why? No, I think it's just uh, it's just that maybe at, at the developmental stage we are in, uh, engineering skills are not as much needed as uh, at the leadership uh, level as, uh, mm. as maybe. But we have set ourselves to become what we call a developmental state. Mm. And f for us to be a successful developmental state, we will have to industrialize. Mm. And if you are industrializing, you will have to have engineers at leadership position because how do you even begin to understand industrialization and not being an engineer. So I think um, it's, it's really a give and take, you know, mm. uh, but, uh, but uh, in terms of, you know, uh, 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 engineers as leaders, uh, I, think, uh, I think even today if you go to, you go to Sasso, mm. um, the leader is an engineer, you go to any American and so on and so forth. So they are there, it's just that maybe they are not in in, 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 in political leadership as much as they are, uh, they, they are in business uh, mm -hmm. uh, or as much as they are in political leadership in China or in South Korea and so on and so forth. Okay, let's take a little bit. Do you think, or do you, do you think that South Africa, we do we have enough engineers in South Africa? No, absolutely not. Uh, South Africa, for South Africa to meet its developmental goals, mm -hmm. that, that, that means reducing uh, unemployment from 40%. You are not going to do it with 2,000 engineers per year. You just can't do it. Uh, and especially in the light of the fact that uh, uh, that number is smaller than the number that is produced in Singapore, mm. which is only 10% of the size of South Africa, in both in terms of, uh, mainly in terms of, uh, of, of population. Mm. Uh, from 5 million people in Singapore, 50 million people in, in South Africa, more engineers produced in Singapore. That is not sustainable, and therefore we need to change that situation. Okay, can you briefly take us through the award that you are about to receive? Oh, I actually received the Microsoft okay. Award, mm. which is an award that is given to uh, the best computer scientist uh, in Africa for that particular period in question. Mm. The award has a little bit of money, so <laughs> I'm planning to give it. So plan to spend a little bit. Uh, it's 100,000 that uh, is going to be coming to my back pocket. <laughs> And, uh, and uh, I was I was I was nominated by the Academy of of Science of South Africa, and mm. uh, my nomination was obviously successful. I'm very very happy about it. Uh, Microsoft is, uh, is, is a great yeah, it's a big company, company. and uh, I'm absolutely glad that uh, I'm associated with this great company, uh, and uh, I'm going to enjoy receiving the award. Yeah, there are a lot of young people who are inspired to be like you. Mm -hmm. how, how would you advise them? How would you tell them what, what, what path do you think they should walk to be someone like you? Work hard. Work harder. And harder and harder. You know, Could you be more briefly like, you know, when you say work harder, you know, someone like... Like, uh, you know, the process of acquiring knowledge mm. is hard work. Mm. You know, you have to sit down in that library for many, many hours. Uh, and if we can be able to do that, I only say uh, to, 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 to many of my colleagues that uh, five days a week at school just just can't do it. <laughs> you know, uh, five days a week where 12 o'clock, uh, uh, half past 12, learners are ready to go to their home, just won't do it. We're supposed to double the number of times our children are spending at school okay. and they're supposed to add one additional day, Saturday, mm -hmm. to make sure that they can be able to catch up with the rest of the world. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, Professor, okay, I'm continuing on, on that. Uh, there are young engineers out there, or young engineers or people who are, want to study engineering. Uh, what advice would you give to them uh, in terms of when it's coming to the academic part, like what will you, they're studying, their time in studying engineering, or maybe first year, second year, third year, uh, honors, and PhD. What advice could you give them uh, for the problems that they could face within uh, this time? of studying engineering? Well, don't be distracted. Never be afraid to try new things. Mm. Uh, never be intimidated by a complicated equation. At the end of the day, it is telling a story that uh, <laughs> you have the capacity to be able to understand. Mm. Uh, 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 share knowledge with others, okay. because we learn through sharing. Yes. The ability to explain a concept to another person is a clear indication of your ability to understand that particular that's concept. A good, that's a good one. Mm. Okay. Uh, Professor Mawara, how is a typical day uh, as a researcher? Uh, well, I would have to confess that as now I'm a dean, so uh, I do not <laughs> have as much uh, time, time for research as uh, I used to. But uh, uh, basically, research for me has entailed mentoring other people. Mm. Um, yes, I do sometimes go and try things uh, in the lab, but uh, a lot of it is delegated to my co-workers. Mm. So it's you know basically meeting people, finding out, uh, the pro tracking their progress, looking at where the bottlenecks are, trying to to solve the problems and so on and so forth. So yeah, yeah that's my typical thing. So uh, uh, another thing, students see research as something that makes kids born. Do do you also have? Uh, uh, view of that. Can you well, I, I think uh, it gets boring if you are doing something that you are not interested mm. in. But if you really are interested in a particular subject, um, yes. the, the, there is some research that I'm sure if I, were, if I was participating in them, I would get bored mm. you know, because uh, it, is, it, is, it is not in line with my interests. Yes. Uh, the key is actually to work on research problems that you are interested in. Mm. And I have a fair share of interests, so I, I don't get bored in doing what I do. But you know, I will pick a subject, research on it for three years, and after three years, I say, mm, that's enough. I have to move on to another. And maybe you can consider that as boring, but um, I, I believe that um, it's just part of growing research. Mm. Okay. Thanks. Thanks.